Um, it's always exciting to uh, start off with some wonderful news. And anytime you can introduce uh, new principals, uh, those that are starting their careers in uh, schools uh, in uh, Newton, uh, it brings joy to certainly all of us. And I have to tell you, I'm going to be introducing you to two new principals this evening. And as I told you early on, I was able to attend the leadership retreat very soon after coming on board. And I was struck by the collegiality, the support for each other. Actually, I probably wouldn't even been able to pick out who were the new principals. So a, a lot of voices were heard, uh, and I was thrilled, you know, certainly to be part of this very, very strong leadership team. So I am going to invite, I'm going to make a few comments, but I'm going to invite our uh, assistant superintendent, Aisha Furry, to come up and to, to introduce them. But let me first talk to you a little bit about Dr. Mara Morse, who is your new principal at the Lincoln Elliott Elementary School. She was an assistant principal here at Zerva, so you were able to certainly see her in action. And she was also your assistant director of diversity, equity, and inclusion for the Newton Public Schools. I know those were big shoes to fill, and I'm not sure we've even filled them yet. So I have to tell you, when I pulled information on our new principals, a few things struck me. One comment uh, on uh, Dr. Morse's letter uh, in applying was one of my strongest leadership characteristics is the ability to create authentic and trusting relationships with staff, students, and families. You know, very, very important going forward. And our other new principal, Andrea Vargas, who is at Pierce Elementary School, also was an assistant principal, but we stole her from our neighboring town <laughs> of Needham, and we're always pleased to do that. She also was a literacy coach, uh, elementary teacher, and again, um, has had deep uh, career involvement in education. And Andrea's comment that, again, it, it's so similar. I have valuable experience with building systems to support a variety of learners, leading teams of teachers in curriculum and professional development, and fostering relationships with the community at large. So welcome, uh, congratulations, and I'll hand that over to uh, uh, Alyssa. Hi, everybody. It's so great to be here today, and this is like such an exciting time to be welcoming new members of our team. I have to say that last year we engaged in inclusive processes, really exciting. Hiring a new principal is exciting. It's really an opportunity to join with the school communities. We had a variety of stakeholders who were involved, staff members family members, central staff, principals, who were all really involved in detailing what is it that each school needed in their next leader. Um, and we embarked on a process that yielded, I think, the just right candidates um, for each school and having heard from having visited the schools on several occasions now and having had the opportunity to speak with a number of folks who hearing positive feedback from both of the schools as both of our new leaders um, acclimate and, and get started. As you heard from Kathy, they both have worn a number of hats and have gained a lot of experience in different ways as they come to us here in Newton. And I think that um, in addition to all of the things that Kathy mentioned, each really through their processes gave us a picture of the ways in which their experiences were well matched for each of their schools, but also their values and their commitment to things that we celebrate and hold dear here and work towards in terms of really committing to academic excellence, focusing on the needs of all of our students, um, ensuring educational equity for all students, and looking at supporting the, the social social and emotional needs of our students. In addition, as they've both gotten started, both of them have really been prioritizing community building. They recognize the need both within the school, during the school day, for strong communities of care, well-being, and belonging, but also beyond, and really making efforts since the summer to get to know not only the staff um, and students, but their families as well. We're really excited. They both um, are deeply involved in their entry plans, learning about their schools, learning about the strengths, learning about the challenges, and thinking together about where each school community will, will go next. Um, and we're really excited. We're excited to have them. Their school communities are excited, but I'll also say that our uh, central staff and principal team, um, they join a team of 13 other elementary school principals who are thrilled to welcome them 
to the team. Their mentors are here tonight. Mark Chitty from Franklin and Becca Brogadier from Ward are here tonight celebrating and supporting them because that's what we do. Um, so we're really, it's really my pleasure, truly excited to welcome and introduce you to the newest uh, members of our elementary uh, principal team. Thank you, Aisha, and uh, I'll just interrupt your remarks yes, for one please. minute just to say that on behalf of my fellow school committee members and myself, we are incredibly pleased to have you both joining us in the uh, joining the, the team of really amazing, excellent educators and principals that we have here in Newton. And we know you have a long and successful tenure ahead of you, and it's just it's an amazing uh, it's an amazing gift to the communities at both of your schools, at Lincoln Elliott and at Pierce. So we thank you for that. The mayor had uh, approached us a couple of weeks ago and talked about looking at um, her authority with the opera funding, and uh, there had been talk with Dr. Fleischman and your team about looking at, and, and I hope I get this right, I do have Dr. Renee McCall here, so I told her if I need some backup with this, I know that she has been involved with this also. But going back for a while, you have been looking at a program that you have had for your elementary literacy, which is about 20 years old. It was developed by your own educators. They did an excellent job. They continue to update. But in this day and age with the complexities, we are looking at, and again, it isn't just one literacy program, but it is looking at a whole program to benefit all your students. So this work has been going on for, it's probably more than two years where I believe you have a committee made up of many stakeholders or of about 29 to 30 people that are investing in looking at different programs, uh, working with different vendors, and trying to meet the needs of your large community. So this year, you are piloting uh, a program. You have not settled on any program, but when the mayor comes and you have $2 million that you are able to put aside when and if you are ready to make that selection. We clearly know that comes before the school committee. We feel we have a lot of work to do uh, going forward. My understanding is we actually have until December of 2024, if I have it right here, to, I'm not using the correct word, I'm going to say encumber the money. Obligate. Obligate have a contract. Have, the money. A contract. have a contract. So that is two years from now, a little bit more than two years. And I think you have two years even beyond that to actually expend the money. So I know there. Um, there has been some concerns about some of the reading programs. There have been a couple that we looked at, some that, again, um, looking back, and I've been in a few districts, uh, they're very similar programs to what I was looking at in dover Sherborne. And I know that there, again, have been some concerns for um, looking at cultural responsiveness in some of the programs. Uh, looking at does it reach our um, English language learners? What about our students with dyslexia or students with reading disabilities? So I do think we're taking a very measured approach at this time, but we are so pleased to have that money set aside for when and if we are able to um, have a reading program or committed to our students in grades uh, K to 5. And I hope that's informative, but as I said, I do have uh, Dr. McCall here if you'd like. Well, I'll just comment. Emily, I see you wanting to bite. Go ahead. I was just going to say thank you to Mayor Fuller yes. for uh, giving us the, the monies to do something that we know in our last budget um, discussions this past spring. I think that we were all um, sad that we couldn't, that it had to be put to the side. So uh, I am greatly appreciate, appreciative of the funding. Thank you. I'm grateful that Newton was in a position and that I could carve this out. So Emily, <laughs> surprise, surprise, uh, said exactly what I was going to say, which is that this was a need that had been identified through our last budget process. Uh, as you said, sad to set it aside, and I'm glad that we can really take some concrete steps to uh, identify a, a reading program that's going to make our kids, you know, thrive. And so I'm confident that, that now we can do that. So thank you very much. Tonight, I just wanted an opportunity to update the school committee and field questions on our major capital building projects. Um, I had slated this in working with Liam and, and the team over at NPS quite a few months ago. I just looked at the fall and we wanted to go after school got settled in, but um, not too far into the fall because we have quite a bit happening uh, in Newton Public Schools. So uh, first and foremost, just a quick update on the Newton Early Childhood Program project at 687 Watertown Street. Uh, we're in the final push over there. 
The project is on time and on budget. We are slated to complete the project in November and uh, we're looking to move over the holidays. So a huge thank you to Kathleen Browning. Uh, I promise Kathleen the work is almost done um, and a uh, heartfelt thanks to her staff who uh, I think it's a really exciting time because this will be their the first permanent home for the Newton preschool program, which I think is is incredible. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to opening the doors to the staff and students there 